I was homeless. Uh, my life became so unmanageable to a point where I tried to gas myself in a car. So I was living in, living in a traveller community. I was selling drugs. I was doing drugs. Uh, I was living in a car park in Aldershot. Uh, I'd been homeless for about three months. I um, was drinking a lot. I was doing drugs. Um, I used smoking weed every day till I fall asleep. Felt lost. Um, and um, ended up just, you know, being on the street and getting up to no good. Three months before I came here, I'd, I'd just come out of psychiatric hospital for the fourth time. I lost everything, so I was on my own, paranoid, a lot of fear. I started it because I was um, in domestic violence for five years and I had to put my children into my parents' care because of it. And um, it, it just didn't, didn't work out well for me, to be honest with you. I just thought this isn't for me anymore, I've been in better places. Like, why am I letting myself sit somewhere that I don't deserve to be? And a week later I was in Amber and they accepted me on a, over a phone interview just based upon what I told them. The house was amazing. The other residents made me feel welcome. Uh, the staff, as soon as I arrived, made me feel comfortable. I made friends straight away and I haven't been alone since, to be honest with you. I was a bit overwhelmed. It's a massive bit of land, like, it's beautiful around here. Like, kind of made me think, oh, there's, there's a lot more going on around me that I don't see. People say like your dream and desire is winning the lottery and earning loads of money and things like that where like my dream and desire is just to get to my pillow each night clean and sober. Yeah, I couldn't be more happy with everyone that I've met here, so really good people. Like the other night I felt really low and I went and knocked on the staff door and they came out like it was came out and had an hour and a half conversation with me. Like and made me feel better. So it's like they're always there no matter what. Amber has saved my life, it literally has. And now I'm not that person eating out of bins. I just needed to, without sounding silly, like find myself. I needed to come somewhere and take myself away from society and come somewhere where they actually, like, they really cared about you. Oh, I feel fantastic. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without this place. This, this place has saved my life. I think the workshops are really good. We do like different types of workshops, like people skills and um, like dealing with emotions and things like that. And um, I think they're really helpful because they teach us a lot about ourselves, I guess. I want to be a support worker in domestic violence and um, help people, because I'm classed as a survivor, I want to help people feel better about themselves and ready to walk out. If you can't deal with life to a like, day-to-day basis, Put your hands up in the air and ask for help and that's what I've done. They do work their very best and they do do everything they can for us. I love every staff member here, there's not one I don't like. If it weren't for Amber I, I, I definitely know I'd be dead. Like just the fact that they think you can be something and make a difference in this world, yeah it's touching, it's something.